What is going on everybody? It is Lucas back again with another vlog. I am just chilling right now watching a little bit of The Simpsons waiting for Rampage to come on. I wish so bad that I could be at Rampage because it's in, you know, my hometown of Chicago. It's at the UC, the United Center, home of the Chicago Bulls, the greatest basketball team in the world from 1993 to 1997. Other than that, <laughs> they're okay. Um, but I know Tony had said today, Tony Khan had said that uh, he's not going to leave us disappointed with this show. So, I don't know. I hear, uh, I hear there's some punks in Chicago, so... You know, if that's the case, I'm going to be a very happy person. So, yeah, and I will have to try to make it to All Out. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so I was going to say I'm going to talk to you guys tomorrow, but I'm not going to talk to you guys tomorrow. It's only 8 o'clock, uh, 8.30. But, uh, yeah, so we'll see how the, the rest of the vlog goes. It's either going to be very disappointing or very exciting, and I might shit my pants. All right, guys, it is almost time for Rampage. Uh, I just watched a little bit of SmackDown. Pretty good. Uh, Roman just raised the stakes for the match, saying that if he loses, he will leave the WWE. So um, Roman Reigns or Roman Reign will be all elite soon. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's my opinion on that match. Um, so yeah. All right, guys. God, I'm nervous. I got the the opening. Oh my god! Like I, I don't I don't want to like get my hopes up that it's gonna happen, but I also want to because like oh god, man, it would just be so amazing. Like <sighs> man, I wish I was there. I wish you guys were viewing this from my view at, at the United Center. The most anticipated announcement in AEW history. Okay. Punk chants are going wild. They got the red and the... Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! He's here! Oh, oh my god! I know! Oh. Oh my god. I never, I never, oh my gosh, I never. I never thought I would see this in my life. I can't believe it. <sighs> Set you. Oh, fuck. I am so fucking hyped right now. Oh. Yes, he jumped in the crowd. I knew that was. Oh. Security's tripping balls. I think that was AJ. This. This is amazing. This is... I have no words for what's happening right now. I... I, I am so... I, tears are in my eyes right now because I have waited seven years to see CM Punk in a wrestling ring again. Um, we've got the teasers with Backstage. We've got... You know, all these things have been happening in, 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 over the last, like, seven years. Like, it's just the rumors and, and everything. And I just, I have no words other than thank you, punk, 
Welcome back to the wrestling world. I sure as hell missed you. He's gonna talk now, so. You guys really know how to make a kid feel like Britt Baker in Pittsburgh. <laughs> That's a very important distinction. We'll get back to it, but I didn't plan. I feel you, Chicago. And I hear you, Chicago. That's what I've heard for seven years. I hurt you. I hurt you. And we got a lot to cover. Wow. Wait, one second. Possibly for me, the most important thing I'm gonna say right now, this is for everybody at home. This is for everybody who bought a ticket. This is for everybody in the back. If at all through my journey, any of my personal choices or decisions related to my life made you feel disappointed, or let down. Let me just say. Let me just say. I understand. If you all try to understand that I was never going to get healthy physically, mentally, spiritually, or emotionally, staying in the same place that got me sick in the first place. WWE, fuck you. I mean, that's right there. That's all he needs to say. And it may, and it, and it's, mm, it's so perfect. It's hot in here. Hang on one second. New shirt. Well, guess what? I'm gonna go. Oh, it says I was. Oh, I'm not gonna get that one. But he's gonna do the sit. Yep. for a place called Ring of Honor. August 13th, 2005 is my last match of Ring of Honor and I famously came out with tears in my eyes. And walking out here today, I now know why I was crying. It was a lot of reasons, but what it boiled down to was... I gotta, wa I gotta watch this. You know I had to throw the, the Cubs hat on to make this just a little bit more um, Chicago-esque, CM, Punk, CM Punk-esque. I think the only thing I'm missing is Pepsi right now. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow we'll go, get, we'll go to Pepsi to, to celebrate. Um, but, man, tonight... <sighs> I have no words. I really have no words. I am just excited. I'm happy. I am... I'm everything. It's just such... It's something that I didn't ever expect to happen. I never expected to see CM Punk in a wrestling ring again. I never, let alone, expected to see CM Punk in AEW. Um, it's just... I'm so happy. I am so happy. And I just... I have no, I have no words. Like, holy shit, this is amazing. Like... To see one of your favorite superstars of all time. I'm trying so hard to get his shirt right now. And it is not working, by the way. Um, to see one of your favorite wrestlers make his comeback after seven years. After... I don't even want to get into what how, all that stuff. But after seven years to, to see your favorite superstar come back. It is... One of the best feelings in the world. Um, Punk has been my favorite since, um, <laughs> since he debuted, really. I mean, through everything, through the feuds with their, 
through through the heel, being a heel, through all of that. Punk has always been one of my favorites. Straight Edge Society, uh, the Nexus, that whole Nexus storyline was amazing, by the way. Um, but, you know, I say we don't focus on the past with Punk right now. We focus on the future. We focus on All Out, September the 5th, Chicago, Illinois, the Now Arena, against Darby Allen, which is going to be crazy. Um, I am just excited. I am super excited. Um, I, I want to be there so bad, so bad. I just want to go. Um, but I have graduation like the day before, so probably not going to happen, uh, unfortunately. But um, as I like to say, the only thing for sure is nothing for sure, but it's probably not going to happen. So I'm not even going to try to get my hopes up. So, yeah, I am just so I, I I'm ecstatic. I'm happy. I'm, I'm crying. I'm crying on the inside. I wish AEW shop would work. Um, I wish shop AEW would work. Uh, <laughs> all these things. Um, but yeah, guys, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching today. Um, I am hoping to get some better vlogs coming up. I, I just, I need to push harder now. Um, I don't know why, but something like pushed me to work harder. Like, I think... I know I said I wasn't going to talk about, you know, WWE, but I feel like if Punk had never left, but as he said, to get right mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, he had to leave. That's the thing. So, but I feel like if that had never happened, I feel like we would have went to a lot more WWE events. I know that sounds crazy, but that's just the way I feel. I don't know, guys. I will see you tomorrow as always. I hope you guys had a beautiful day. Be excellent to each other. Peace and rock on.